Well, hello everyone, Texy88 here and welcome to another review. And now I'm taking a look at Dragon, the Bruce Lee story for the Super Nintendo, brought out by Virgin Interactive Entertainment in 1994. It is based on the biopic of the same name that starred Jason Scott Lee as, as martial arts uh, uh, and, and films, um, film superstar Bruce Lee. And also featured um, Lauren Holly as his on-screen wife. And that's a pretty nice intro screen. Uh, so you got a uh, one-player story game, two-player story game. Um, the, the, that basically you loosely follows key element, key key uh, fight scenes that have appeared in the film, and you can have one, two, or even three-player match. Obviously, for uh, I believe that the th for three player match uh, the game was multi tap compatible, so which but the the Super Nintendo has two um, joy pad ports, but the multi tap allowed uh, additional ones. Uh, I, I believe it was uh, compatible with that, so a third player could join in. And basically, in those, everyone plays as a, a Bruce a version of Bruce Lee options so you can set the difficulty you got uh, got five different difficulty settings game speed normal uh, original normal or turbo i'll keep it at normal movie sequences yes we'll keep those in so let's do a one player story game lantern festival 1961 i want to dance with her this one's mine, get one of your own. She is one of my own. This is obviously based on the, on, on that cruise ship in the film. So you're up against one. So it, it's a it's a one on, on one, one on some one on one that's sometimes not more than one on one beat em up and you've got a separate button for kicks. However, as you as you build, you, if you see, if you look below the, the your health meter in the top left corner, you'll see the, the 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 red bar is your health meter, and and, uh, and that that blue that blue meter is, is a is a separate meter. As soon as it's built up enough, you can switch to to different to, to different fighting styles. You see the standard one, which is available right at, at all times, is the Mantis style. But you can switch between fighter and nunchaku if you build it up enough. So you got you. It uses all of them. The, all all of them. The four main buttons on there. When they're down like that, when they're down, you can actually you know, hit them when they're down. Oh God, get off! Me. And you can do throws like that. Some of the hit detections are a little bit of feel. I mean, that chain that should have got oh, a bit of feet in me. Uh, 
and those bugwa mirrors represent your lives. So the, the controls are reasonably good. It looks like you got two different, two different streams. Can actually, uh, you can actually attack an opponent when they're on down on the ground, but, but as soon as they start getting up, you can't do that. Oh, God. Get up, snap out of it, Bruce. in quite a while. If I had one complaint about the fights in this, they do drag on a bit. Sorry, drag on dragon. That wasn't that was an unintentional uh, play on words. I, I... Oh, God. You have to you have to press the down down and the hot and the hard and the powerful kick right at the apex of the jump. If you do it even a fraction too early or too late, it won't work. And some of the hit detections are bit iffy at times. Depending on how how, how, how how well that you did in the fight, uh, not just about uh, about that, but about how well you did, but, but but generally technique as well, which is a nice touch because it's all uh, because it shows a bit more of a of depth. It isn't just a one on one beater with nothing new to bring to the table. Based on the on the fight in the in the in the kitchen where Bruce's character w worked at one point in the film. Come on, wake up! I've, I've nearly built up that blue meter which I told you about. So hopefully I'll be able to show you the. Um Oh yeah, 
and then after a while he backs out and then it goes outside and then you have to take on more. And then you end up having to take on more than one. I wouldn't say, see here when I'm now I've got to take on two of them. And you, to help you, you do actually get a, du a double head kick manoeuvre. Sometimes the game gets a bit confused when you're in between the two of them, and it, it sometimes does. Like it. See, up the, the hit detection, I clearly kicked that guy in the legs, and it didn't respond. Yeah, I can pick fighter now. See, I've, I've changed my fighting style. Notice the different stance. And the, and the fight that these fighting maneuvers are a little bit different. And you can switch back to Mantis as well. So. There's a, double, there's a double head kick I mentioned a few moments ago. Oh god, you bastard. And if you, if you lose all your lives, then you have to take on the arm. On, on this guy, this is pointless because you can only you can only beat him if you've built up your your energy to nunchaku. Otherwise, you've got absolutely buckless chance of beating him. I can't really explain the bit of the film that that's based on without without it being a spoiler. So that's Dragon the Bruce Lee story for the Super Nintendo and all things considered it's not about it's not about to one on one and two on one beat em up and it does have one or two unique takes to bring to the table such as being able to switch between different fighting styles once you've built up that uh, that additional blue meter enough and and the um and the ability to do certain, and the fact that it takes into account what precisely how you fought, as well as uh, the usual thing of how much energy you've got left. So it's not it's not just Street Fighter Two uh, with um, um, with an additional opponent at times. And 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 although you didn't see it in this review, you sometimes get a bonus stage in which you get which in which you practice man, uh, fighting maneuvers against against the uh, the Wing Chun wooden dummies that use the. Um, that you see be, uh, being used, uh, featured in the film. So the graphics are really quite nice. Uh, the, the, the and and the animations are really quite good, and the nice detail in the sprites and the background. And there, there are some characters that aren't necessarily based on people in the film, such as in this demo mode here, where you're seeing a character who's clearly based on Jim Kelly's character, Williams, from the film Enter the Dragon. And you, although I didn't actually, although I couldn't actually get it to work for some reason, you can, act, you can actually block in this, but only if you're using the Mantis style. If you're using Fight or Nunchuck, you can't block. And even if you're doing um, doing two um, 
uh, even if you're doing multiplayer against each other, um, which was one of the options, uh, you can you also get the chance to use the fighter and nunchaku uh, 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 f fighting techniques if you've built up your own blue, um, your own secondary meter enough. So that's another level of depth that this game has. The sound effects are quite nice, and it's got. Some, it's got some uh, Bruce Lee-like whales, which I believe might have been taken uh, digitised directly from the film. And there's some nice, some some fairly good sound effects, although although they're they're not the they're not the most impactful I've ever heard. I I do have to admit, but I have heard a lot worse. And some some of the kind of like the classic Hong Kong kung fu movie style. Um, Things and, and, and as any anyone who's seen my channel knows, I love the classic um, Hong Kong martial arts films, and and a, some of the sound effects remind me a little of those, which is not necessarily a bad thing. As especially as Bruce Lee's f uh, f first major hits like The Big Boss and Fist of Fury and Way of the Dragon were Hong Kong funded productions, so. But anyway, back to this game. The gameplay. I wouldn't say it was stunning, but... It's different enough from the, from the likes of Street Fighter 2 uh, to, uh, to be worthy of, uh, of, of looking, uh, taking a good look at. And it's, it's not awful. Anyone who says it is is being ridiculous. It, uh, there are far worse uh, games... Uh, um, uh, um, one and two on one games that are out there than uh, than Dragon the Bruce Lee story and as I, as I said the fact that you you it actually analyzes um, uh, how how you actually fought as well as whether or not you just had more energy left than you might have had on a previous fight when determining your final score that that's a nice touch and it actually um. And it actually makes the game feel like it has some, a bit of a connection to the little dragon himself, in in a albeit a slightly tenuous manner. But as I said, one complaint I do have is that some of the fights do drag on a little, and some of the hit detection is not that great. Uh, as you saw, there were there were there were several there there were more than a few occasions in which a uh, a strike from me and from my opponent should have hit and didn't, and the and the the blow which should have hit just went straight through him. But I, um, overall, I'm not. It's it's not too bad. I'd happily give Dragon the Bruce Lee story for the Super Nintendo seven out of ten. If they could have said it so that that fights didn't drag on a bit too long, then uh, and to improve the hit detection, then it would have easily got an eight at least. So, I'm and there are far there are also far worse film film license based games than this as well. So yeah, yeah, I I don't entirely love it, but. I've played a lot worse. I mean, it, and uh, I ho hope you all enjoyed this review, and I ca hope to catch you on another video of mine soon. Texie88 out.